Today we're going to learn about the expository pillar. This is a tool that is useful for fourth grade writing here in Temple ISD. You will see that we have an introduction that begins our expository piece, and then we have main idea one, main idea two, and main idea three, which also has the supporting details for those specific main ideas. And then our story is going to end with a conclusion. Here's an example story. Our topic is going to be summer vacation. Here I have my introduction or my hook to get the reader involved. And then I talk about main idea one, which is sandcastle building. I talked about each detail using plastic utensils to carve sand. Another detail, stack sand two different ways. A third detail, sandcastle lessons from a professional. And then a fourth detail, items needed to stack sand. All of these have to do with building a sandcastle that has to do with main idea one. Main idea two talks about a pirate ship ride. It has its specific details that has to do with being on a pirate ship, sword fighting with a pirate, singing and dancing aboard, winning an eye patch, and mopping the ship. Main idea three is optional, but I included swimming as part of our main topic, which was our summer vacation. Here are the details about ocean and wildlife that can be seen during when they're swimming at the ocean. Lifeguard, using a boogie board, and then using uh, swimming at the pool. So all of these four details also tie in with the main idea three of swimming. And then I end the expository piece by having a conclusion which also mentions my three main ideas again, which is what students are expected to do for their writing piece. Once your child has organized their thoughts and placed them in this expository pillar, then they are expected to write a rough draft of their expository piece.